So I'm going to send my Marshall. If you can increase control in Upland at the moment. How much control do I actually have? Oh, please let me uh, click. 17. That's actually really horrible. Okay, so let's definitely get more control there. You're going to march down here, try to fight this guy. We're already at 84. Uh, your territory is actually in there. If we fight this army... Once you get locked... We'll go fight you. And my son is now of age. He looks a little bit strange to be honest, but that's okay. I'll put you into I, uh, my stewardship position. This might be enough for us just to win this war, this battle. My son has been impressed with one of the household champions for a very long time. After finally meeting a person, he's been repeating the warrior's words to himself. Give others their due, and you receive your own in turn. Yeah, you can be generous. Generous seems like a good thing. My heir is currently unmarried. So you would be Jorvik. Corland. You know what? Corland's not bad. You are a different religion, but that's okay. Don't worry about that in the uh, in the future. We'll wait for uh, this. Alliance has been formed. Fantastic. I love CK games. It's my most played game. I for CK3 and can't wait for the mods. Yeah, I'm hoping the mods are really, uh, definitely good. Yes, well, you're my daughter. What I want is, if you ever played the, the CK2 mod, um, what was it called? After the End? After the End was a really, really good mod in CK2. Um, so I hope they can maybe export that into, uh, CK3 into the future. I have 100% with you, then I'm going to enforce my demands. And the king of Sweden is looking pretty, pretty nice. But we're also worth other people, because I'm guessing they were trying to take this territory. You come up to here. You guys march down to here. How dare... Like, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, you don't like me very much. Ambitious, you desire to chief them. Declare the war, you're sadistic. What if I try to murder you? I have 16% chance of succeeding. And then, hey, what if I give you 37 gold really is, like, not a problem at all? And I'll give you 37 gold. You guys don't really like me very much. But this guy hates us. Play A Song of Ice, Ice and Fire. I played that one years and years and years ago. I'll explore the hills myself. But well, the After the End mod, essentially, it was a, um, good Norse name. It was a mod which took place in North America, like, after the apocalypse. So you had, like, cults that, like, a cult that worshipped, like, the Founding Fathers of America. There were people who really worshipped, like, the Steel Belt. It was a very, very cool mod, and I think you should check it out if you are into those, uh, kind of, like, full conversion kind of mods. We've won our war against you. And what do we get out of this? 17 gold. I'm kind of fine with just a white piece, to be completely honest. And I think as soon as we seize down one of your provinces, that'll be... Uh... Actually, we got 100%. Never mind. Force our demands. So our little kingdom is just constantly growing, and it makes my... Uh... Makes my heart flutter. With the, with the endless possibilities. I mean, I'm glad that my, uh, my, my court has somewhat stabilized itself. Greetings to my modest liege. I write to inform you the most appalling discovery I've made about Jarl Yarza. This woman is engaging in unsavory and dishonorable activities behind my back. How dare you. How dare you try to scheme behind my back. While well, I'm currently scheming to kill somebody else, but don't worry about that. Ransom. Yeah, sure. You, you can have some money. And we'll ransom this guy off as well. I know our um, counting control is pretty low. We're trying our best. 18% and 26. Still pretty low. 
So I'm not, I'm not too concerned about that. How are you guys doing over here? Like, we could even, like, prepare to, like, invade, um... Because you're all... Like, a weird, like, Catholic split. So we, we could maybe do something there. I mean, we're, we're doing pretty well in our conquest of uh, Britain. Even though we have not tried... 93% chance? Yeah, if we can just get, um... Yeah, now he's dead. Fantastic. Who's in charge? A little boy. He desires a chiefdom. Buddy, he's also... He's a... He's two. He's a, he's a sadistic two-year-old? I think you want this territory, right? You want... Desires a chiefdom of... However the hell you say that. Which is you. Is it? Is that part of his duchy? It is. But on the other hand, I could just, like, not give it to him. So, with Scandinavia, we are now at 42. So, we're still not halfway. I think 46 is halfway there. Name them after uh, my wife. Denmark is also growing a little bit. But just kind of killing all these smaller little guys is probably what we want to do the most. Yes, I know we can raid. I know we can grant titles. Don't worry about that. Um, Because right now, it costs us 4650 to convert. Your old face will consider you a stray. Starting forward will be 100%. We are warmongers. So human sacrifice, we can probably get rid of that for, like... Astrology seems garbage. Opinion, piety goes up. We're just missing 3,000 uh, piety. Which is quite a bit. What do you actually might want to do? Do I have any more prisoners? I do. Can I execute any of you guys? Here's UNESCO. I lose I lose stress because I'm sadistic. So yeah, we'll burn them at the stake. As long as we're not getting any tyranny. We're gonna burn you at the stake as well. Just give me that uh, piety, please, and thank you. You are oh, just just a small 14-year-old boy. Hey, guess what? We are gonna be Oh, we're we're beheading you. We're being a little bit more uh kind there. We're also gonna burn you at the stake. And hey, what about you? I'm going to burn you at the stake. So apparently children, we cut their heads off. So we're, we're a little bit nicer to the kids. And I'm now known for my dedication to the faith. Fantastic. Um, getting 1.7 per month. So it would take us years and years and years to receive from newborns, receive splendor. I want to make you, like, a cheap one. We still miss thousands. Like, thousands and thousands and thousands. We can maybe try to... We can declare war for prisoners. That we can sacrifice. And burn those people at the stake. And kind of do that over and over again. What about you? You you don't look very strong. What if I was to burn you alive? Do some claims, but if anything, I think I just want to, yeah, burn you at the stake. Like, I don't think we need our entire army, to be honest. Um, I will split you guys in half. Mostly because I don't need two armies, I think. If you only have 500 troops... We don't need two armies. We'll save a little bit of money off of that. And I think our allies are uh, slowly taking over these regions as well. Which is nice. Uh, you can be generous. That seems good. Once we siege your capital, that might just give us 100% uh, automatically. Because you're Norse. 
Door North down here. They kind of class are actually making some headways in uh in the Catholic world because their fervor is actually pretty low. The Catholics are having some problems to to put it to, to, to put it mildly. They have seized down one of my territories, but I think as soon as I'm done here, yeah, hundred percent. Enforce my demands. And now it's time to burn more people alive. Hip hip. Hooray. Uh, court. Prisoners. Congratulations to all of you guys. You are now being executed. Congratulations. I like not stressed out at all. I love murdering people. We're not getting a ton of um, piety off of this. Just more murders. We're at 1,700. We still need like 3,000. We also now own this part of uh, Finland. At some point, I guess we took it. 50 gold is not a ton of money. And actually, if anything, I want to upgrade another building here. 150 levies, 100 levies. More taxes is not bad. Let's build a war camp. Just get that going. You are a peasant revolt. What about what about Finland? You only have a, you only have two thousand men. We have more troops than you do. If we can capture you, would be nice. I mean, what's the, what's the most amount of territory I can even take off of you? I could conquer a duchy. And you know what? 188 prestige. I have a lot of prestige. I'm actually going to clear war on them for that. We'll probably get some prisoners out of this regardless. I call your alliance to go to war with Estonia and Prussia. I think I actually said I think I accidentally said no because I left the thing open too long. Completely my bad, I will admit. So I'm sorry to Corlind that I uh yeah, which I actually called the offensive war, and I think I lost like a bunch of pr uh, prestige out of that. That's completely my own fault. Okay, we'll have leave these guys back to siege. Yeah, obviously they're gonna come kill me. I don't know why I'm surprised by that. I mean, one battle going poorly is not the end of the world. You have a claim on the county of Zadok. A stranger is brought before me. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege. The guard informs me. Man bows. My name is Dunchad, your highness. I've traveled far and wide and seen many things, but I'm weary of the road. If you allow me to stay, I'll happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. Who are you? You're Irish. I'm generous and I'm sadistic, so... Yes, embrace Odin, and this can be your home. I'm a ge I'm a generous king. We'll murder all those guys. We'll come over here. Hey, I'm gonna murder all of you. So goodbye to Finland strength. And this time we are not going to um we're not gonna release any any prisoners we get are immediately getting executed. Yeah, burn at stake. Goodbye to you, and hey, guess what? Goodbye to you as well. Give me that piety. I want to reform the Norse faith. Please and thank you. Let me be a good Norse boy. Thousand men. You know what? You probably don't want to be an upland. Send you back home. Also, you're kind of running out of supplies. How many? How many kids do I have? I have tw I have 12 children. That's way too many kids. How do you even keep track of 12 children? I don't think you do, honestly. So we will murder you, then you're going to go to this province. Now that you are dead, you're going to go here. We're at 64. Did I get any more prisoners? Hell yeah, I did. Time for an execution. 
We'll behead you. Congratulations, we're beheading you. And hey, guess what? We're gonna burn at the stake. Do we want you know what? The whole family at this point is sadistic, so you might as well keep up with the family tradition of uh being sadistic as well. We'll just keep on sieging these territories. Every time we capture a province, um, we're, we're getting um, prisoners that we can absolutely murder. So uh, no matter what, we're, we're coming out uh, ahead on this. Oh, we didn't get any prisoners that time. Very sad day. You are now no longer part of Finland, huh? Really? Fine. You win it. You win this time, uh, Savo. Despite being essentially besieged, the settlement. Fine. It is what it is. We're sitting down these territories. We're at 90%. There we go. Arrest more people. Can I execute you? That's tyranny. Fine. Are you tyrannical? And then I'll just ransom you guys off. I guess that's fine. I was really getting into murdering people, though. It was, it was a good time. Do you now have grown to age? Fantastic. Still at 90%. Did I get more prisoners? Sadly, no. There we go. We're at 100%. Did I capture? Prisoner released. No. no. Nope. You know what? I'm going to fight this army just in case we do um, capture the high chieftain. Okay, captured somebody, and capturing somebody means that they are getting burned alive. Hell yeah. And then, of course, I will then uh, enforce my demands. And Sweden gets just a little bit bigger. But I do need to make a new duke to actually control all this territory. I mean, what ter I control these four. I control you. You know what? I will I'll demand your conversion. You might accept. You know what? First things first, I will give you this territory. Now you do like us, I will demand your conversion. Thank you very much for converting to our faith. What other territories do I have? Because I know I have you. I got you, you, so that's three. And I guess, you know, I'll keep the capital here. Because how many, how many... How many duchies do I have? I have two duchies. So. We can create probably the duchy of Finland. We have no claim on this title. Oh, you still own it. Can I just um offer guardianship? Murder. What I want to do is I want to... I want to usurp the title. I cannot do it because you're fighting a war. Fine. Then I will simply grant these territories to other people. You can have that province. Um, we will get then a... Different courtier. Congratulations to uh, you. You can have that. And then I need a, another guy. And I will grant you this territory. Congratulations. You're all becoming powerful members of my uh, my court. Now that we have that, are we at least halfway to um, forming Scandinavia? Yes, we're, we're past the halfway point. Uh, which is nice. And how close are we to, uh... We need to basically double our, uh, current faith. Which is a lot. I'm actually even wondering if you want to go over here and, like, raid you guys for captives. Wouldn't it be the worst idea in the world, for sure. Denmark is constantly expanding, which is a little bit of a, uh, a threat to our power base.
I don't want you losing prestige. My other son can get married. You know, you have claims though. So, well, you know, you guys can marry them. So congratulations to all of your marriages. And after that, children like guardianships, all of You know what? You do them. I will propose for my son. You can do a champion. And you know what? Why not you do them as well? I know you have low counting control in Finland. Not a major surprise. And you become an astute intellectual. Congratulations. You are now going to marry. Probably not a 42 year old. How are you? Oh, no, okay. 18? You are. No, I think, I think we can accept that marriage. Yeah, I do have a. Uh... Early access to CK3. Because the game comes out, what, tomorrow? Being raided. We're being raided? I mean, the problem is our country's so big that being raided could be anywhere. Yeah, it's, it's over here in Scotland. But, like, what can I do about that? The answer is basically nothing. Like, I haven't, even, I haven't even gone over there. Like, that's not even... I didn't conquer that land. Again, yeah, it's still being sieged down. Uh, you want me to go to your feast? I will accept. Please do not murder me. Um, that's that's my one condition to join the feast. I am sadistic. You know what? Let's insult that guy because we are we are sadistic. And you know what? You can be forgiving as well. As chief eyes widens and my words, I realize that I might just admit it to. I struggle to push my tankard away. I had too much. Oh no, I- I- wait, what, what murder secret? Do I know a murder secret? He might- he might actually have found out that I tried- that I killed somebody in the past. That's not great, I will admit. But I do think that leaves for right now. It's gonna be a good time for us to end this stream for today, but we'll be continuing on uh, later on within the week. So I hope everybody has enjoyed. If you want to see more, remember to uh, hit the follow button in the top corner. Or if you want to support the channel even more, remember to click the subscribe button. Fully four ninety nine. You can support the channel uh, for you know how we pay rent and all that good stuff. Or you can go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Which tomorrow there's going to be another um, campaign uh, as Poland going up at noon EST. It's twelve o'clock EST. Uh, 9 o'clock PST. Whatever your time zone is based on that. Thank you for the subscription. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we'll be starting a, a brand new campaign in CK3 on the YouTube channel. So you can go and check that out. But have a great day and goodbye.